Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian. Uh, today I am going to do another uh, open cup pour, but it's gonna be a disrupted open cup pour. So the difference between there is what I do is I take the cup and I go through the entire painting, wrecking it with my open cup. Kind of creating its own uh, composition by using the cup and creating some wavy lines and things like that. Um, I'm using the colors that I used from the last video. I said that, wow, these colors are really cool on white, but I bet it would look really even better with black. So I'm going to do it today. So let's see how this turns out. Let's get down on the canvas. I'll be right back. All right, I've got an 18 by 24 gallery wrap canvas taped, pushed in back. Um, I have painted my sides and edges because I don't want a transparent edge. Um, what I'm going to do today is a open cup pour using those colors that I used in the last video that Mina had used. Um, I had said I thought th those colors would look really cool on a black base. And so that is what I'm going to do today. So let's do a refresher on the colors. This is um, Amsterdam and Primary Magenta. Artillier in the blue black. Amsterdam and titanium white. The last one I use the Artist Loft Soft Body White. So I'm gonna see how much difference this does compared to the other. Um, and this white does not have satin enamels in it. This is Creative Inspirations in the metallic gold. Amsterdam greenish blue, one of my absolute favorite colors. And this is a mix of the Naples Yellow Deep with Naples Yellow Red Light. And then my black is going to be my Artist Loft soft body in black. All right. So what I'm going to do, I might keep negative space with this. So I will probably do, 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 do. maybe I'll put some black down. Maybe I'll put down a little black base first. That's what I'll do. Now you might be asking yourself why I didn't cover up this. The reason why I didn't cover it is because it's going to get more paint with the pour itself. Right, I'm gonna pour a little bit of black here. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna use gravity to Pour up high so the paints will sink down below the black. Get some of that primary magenta. The blue black. Just a little bit of white. Gold. Greenish blue. A touch of yellow. Colors are pushing out nice. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep the pour over maybe in this center area and maybe keep some negative space on each side. Wonderful, wonderful what's happening here though. Ooh wee Pretty. I'm going to give it a little bit of a torch. I'm not going to twist too far. I think I'm just going to twist back and around so I can put some more paint right over here. So let's twist back towards me, lifting. Fill up some black here.
we'll go again. Really coming through. These colors are gonna show up really nice in this black. All right, I'm gonna do one more pour. Now I'm gonna twist it back into itself and bring it around over here and put the last pour right here. Still letting the cells come through, letting the paint ooze out from the black. I'm gonna bring it back over here to my right, lifting and pulling through. Let's put some black in the center. here. Now people have asked, why do I surround the cup with black? That's helping it give it flow as the paints push out from under the center of the cup. It's going to allow the paints to move in that direction. Creating some nice coloration here. Beautiful cells. Things are going to open up nicely. Thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this around right through the back and come off down here. Or maybe come down and then back up. Completely disrupting things. Let's start the disruption. A lot of air bubbles. All right. Now it's weight check time. Let's figure out where we are paint wise. Cheer. But now 
thing, the key with these open cup pours is you want to pour or tilt slowly. Now I'm gonna have to lose a lot more paint, so I have to figure out what I want to go. Just bringing this some down. Right, guys I'm gonna leave this right here absolutely great I love the composition I love disrupting the cells I still kept cells I still kept the line going through you can see every color in this one you can see the yellow you can see the gold just fantastic all right I'm gonna clean up the edges I'll torch and bring you guys in okay guys here we are with the wet result Love this so much. I'm just seeing so many things in this thing, but check it out. Let me start you up here. Look at those corner, look at this tiny cells. Look at that big cell right there. Oops, sorry. Look at that big cell. Cool. section is so cool. All right, folks, we'll see this when it's dry. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are with the dried result. It's still a little bit wet up in that right-hand corner, so I'm gonna do this fairly quickly. But look how it's drying. It's drying just amazing. Got the cells. You can see that dark area where it's still wet. But look, it's drying amazing. Loving the colors. You get that blue-black and that greenish-blue in there. The white. Great composition. that's gonna do it for today so it is still a little bit wet up here in this right hand corner but it's dry enough that I can hold it up but love this swooping uh, composition got a lot of gold cells because I poured a lot of gold in that last cup um, but I just love the streakiness I love this black line that comes right through the center kind of through here great it also kind of shoots up this way but you get to see the greenish blue. You also get that uh, blue black. That blue black is in there as well. Really, really fantastic. So once that's dry, that will probably get some resin because I think that's gonna really pop with some resin, give it some great shine. So. 
All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. I believe Kelly with Feral Art is up next. Let's head over to our channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.